This is Cindy G with my Scrap Chick, and in this video we are assembling the Llama pop-up card. <clears throat> so I have already put my panels on my base, and now I'm just going to fold it on the scored lines. And you want to fold this bottom score flush the base and then fold this up. This creates a quarter inch gap that we are going to glue down. Just glue this together. And then we're going to flip it over and glue these sections down. I like to start with my base first to give these plenty of time to dry so that when we're working with it, it does not pop up. Okay, just have to hold this for a few seconds. Then we'll just set that aside. So for my mountain range, I used some brown along the edges. So I'm gonna darken it a little bit more. And I'm kind of scraping along the front too to kind of give the mountains a little bit more dimension since it's such a big piece and it's kind of plain. Then I used some orange and I kind of rubbed it all along the top and made some marks. Um, it reminds me of the mountains in Arizona. So that's kind of the image I had in my mind. Okay, so now let's work on putting together one of the panel pieces and I'll start with this cactus. I am still working with a broken arm, so I'm a little bit limited in my movement with my left hand. You can see these, this goes together pretty quickly, this paper piecing part. There is no top piece for this cactus, so whatever color you make your base, that will be the color of the short cactus there. I've already put together one of these plants. I did save the bigger one to do with you. There we are. So this is the exact same cactus, it's just bigger. And it has these four pieces. So the leaves that have the angled line on them 
go on the bottom. And there, this leaf here. So you're just going to take this and line it up to that leaf, and it is flush on the bottom, just like that. Okay. And then this leaf is for the center. Okay. Whoops. I didn't make too much of a mess dropping that a little bit. There are also some flowers here for the tops of the cactus. Stylus. Let me find the right stylus here. I'm just going to curve them a little. And there's one for the top of each cactus if you want to put those on. You could do some of these in different colors if you wanted. You can leave them off. I just use the palm of my hand when I just have small things like this that I need to add some curve too. It's easier than trying to find a mat because I have, now that we have our mice on our computer with the laser eye, we don't have those soft mouse pads anymore. But the palm of my hand is always nearby, <laughs> I hope. Okay. Now for my llama, I did have another one over here to put together, but I messed up his face. I was trying to see if I could ink just around his mouth to show you that you don't have to use that small piece there if you don't want. And I made them all gray. So there is a black circle on the back. His eyes and his nose and mouth cut out of the main piece. Then you glue this black circle behind it. And just glue this straight on. There's also this small piece here for the tuft of hair at the top. There is a black piece that you glue them on so that it makes his hooves. And then this, if you want different colored tassels, the tassels are there to cut out to add to your piece. But they're not necessary. You can just use this as a solid color and then you don't have to mess with all those small pieces. I'm going to glue this one to my base because I think it turned out better. You would not want to cut your base in black. Um, to make sure this piece was stable, uh, part of this shows through. So I just use the same color as the background piece on this. Okay. 
So there you have that, and we'll pull this forward and build, start building our card. The big piece goes in the very back, in the middle, actually. And then you have your cactus, and then you have your llama, okay? And you'll notice when you pull this forward that you are working backwards. Be careful not to pull his feet here through the hole. Don't pull them too far down. You'll just want to line his hoof up here with, with what would be the top there of your... Because otherwise... He's going to um, he'll be below it and he won't stand up right. Okay. Let's do that. And then your cactus go in next. Making sure not to go over the edge there of the card. We're going to apply glue here onto the tab and fold it under. Watch your glue because you don't want things gluing together where they shouldn't. And then finally your center piece, and this piece is your card mechanism. It, it's what allows your card to open and close. So you're, you want to make sure to glue this top tab in place. This is the tab that lifts the top of the base of your card. And then you want to glue the bottom tab to the bottom of this center piece. Okay, just like that. You're only gluing the tabs to this center piece. And as you see, this is what pulls it up and down. Okay, next we're going to apply glue only to the tabs. And be careful with your glue. You don't want it to squeeze out from these tabs and glue things that shouldn't be glued to it. So this top one is down flat. The bottom one is folded up. We're going to bring this over and we're going to glue these two tabs together. And you've got some bulk here, so you really have to push down. And once you think you've got your glue sticking, you can check it. And you can see here I've glued my two tabs. And in here, the bottoms of my pieces are glued to the bottom. And now we are going to apply glue to this tab and close up our card. For your sentiment, you can either write on the back of the mountain or change this tab right here to a solid color. And there you have the llama pop-up card. Thank you for joining me. I still don't.